All right, so here we are in San Diego at an aquaponics farm being dismantled because the greenhouse space has been leased for another purpose. And this was a prototype project for the greenhouse owners. Uh, there's 4,000 square foot of lettuce beds here and there's 260,000 square feet of greenhouse available. So they got an offer on the whole place and they're closing up aquaponic shop just to lease it back to somebody else. To start here, this is the fish tank. It's a 5,000 gallon fish tank and inside are 2,600 tilapia, about a third to a half pound each. And uh, very hungry, very aggressive. They come up and eat your fingers. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, it top overflows through two points there and here. He said he's never cleaned these screens in three months. He's never cleaned the tank. He's never cleaned the solids filtration system, which is here. Overflows, goes into here. It's like 30 gallons an hour, I want to say, which is not very much. An amazingly low flow to me. But this baffle goes down, up, over that one that's submerged, down again, up, and then out this overflow right here where it goes to a mesh tank for nitrification, where it overflows into an aerated tank for off-gassing, whereby it goes underground and feeds the bed. The beds run along these uh, starting tables to the first bed, where they lap to the end, come back this length, lap to the end of that one, come back the length of this one, and it's in a series end to end, end to end, end to end, so it gets to the back, goes underground, gets pumped up at that corner, back into the fish tank at that low flow rate, right there. This was a great idea to do video. These tanks are totally chock full of snails, which weren't intentional, but they're also chock full of scuds, which were intentional. The scuds have so far eaten all the waste. I can see all the way to the bottom of this tank. I can actually see the white on the bottom of this tank. So what you see is the bottom of the settling tank. There is no other filtration. There is nothing to service whatsoever. And if I go over here, and hopefully we let it focus, you're going to see a bunch of little spiral snails, and you'll also see a little bug that swims and moves called a scud. They're little quarter inch long copepods, crustaceans. Let me see if I can't stir some up. There, see them all swimming off? There we go. There they are there. Now those things eat the detritus until it's a water soluble nutrient and there's nothing ever to clean out. In three months he hasn't cleaned anything out. All right, these seed starting tables flood. He's actually got double decker, but he didn't build it with enough room to properly light or service the lower deck. Um, that was a dumb thing. These are his trays. They're something that look like rapid rooters. Okay. They, uh, they germinate and sprout into seedlings for three weeks. And then they go into grow out here for three to six weeks, depending on the season. Focus. Go. And these should have already been harvested, but they're in between plans here, so they're actually getting overdone. They're loosening up and they'll probably start bolting any moment. And there's a lot of lettuce right here. There's another kind. Um, I mean, literally, those are probably three or four pound heads of lettuce, maybe even five pounds each. All right. The system can put out 2,500 heads of lettuce or a double, 
doubling up of the holes will produce 5,000 heads of bok choy every single week. And in order to do so, these things need to be planted both levels clear full. Um, I think, although they seem to be planted 100% right now, but a lot of it looks recent. There's some verbena that one of the workers thought he'd try to see if uh, he could take cuttings and root them in here. So he literally took a bunch of verbena cuttings, just threw them in the holes, and every single one rooted and grew right in that spot right here. And they're flowering now. So that's verbena. And you can see, they just it looks like he put them in a rapid rooter plug. And threw them in. Uh, that's basil. Four week old basil is already bolting. They look to be two pounds or so per head, maybe three pounds per head. Single plants, by the way. Whereas Cabrillo uses three to four seeds per one inch square. Uh, they put this over the fish tank to help keep it warm. There's enough air that they don't need any surface air exchange. Here's some extra rafts. Looks like he's got enough to plant a whole extra bed. Sixty. Sixty extra trays. Sixty times eight. Four hundred and eighty square feet worth of raft right there. Extra on top of the four thousand square feet of raft. Okay. And this is all in a greenhouse. With plastic poly on the top, shade cloth, fans. It's hot as hell in here. They've got no product over there planted and Mr.'s going anyway farm tractors and that's it